Active listings broke the 12,000 barrier this week and mortgage interest rates jumped yet again. What else is going on? Let's get into it and take a closer look at the Phoenix real estate market. There are 12,121 homes for sale, 26,454 homes sold over the past 90 days, the inventory absorption rate is 41.2 days. Average days on market is 28. The listed sales price ratio is 101.4%. The average sales price is $590,828. The median sales price is currently $476,000. One year ago was $400,000. And the median sales price is up 19% from last year. Let's go deeper. Good news, not so good news for buyers. Available inventory went up again. However, so did mortgage interest rates. Right now, according to Freddie Mac's primary mortgage market survey, the average 30-year fixed rate is at 5.78%. And according to Mortgage News Daily, it's currently at 6.03%. Just last week, it was 5.49% on June 8th and as high as 6.28% on June 14th. As sellers negotiating leverage weakens, so does buying power because of rising mortgage interest rates. But at least as a buyer, you now have more inventory to look at. Those properties are staying on the market longer and you may not have to guarantee an appraisal shortfall or pay over asking price. As some buyers are forced out of the ability to buy because of rising interest rates that negatively impact buying power, those buyers are continuing to rent. That will keep rents from falling, unfortunately. I would argue you're better off lowering your expectations and buying something that you can afford now with the new interest rates instead of dropping out and renting. Here is a prime example a three bedroom, two bath, 1,418 square foot apartment in Mesa 85209 is renting out, depending on the unit location, for $2,665 to $2,765 per month. You could buy a townhouse in the same area that's three bedroom, two bath, 1,400 square feet with a one car garage in a gated complex with a pool and have a principal and interest payment of $2,084. That's a 30-year fixed at 6.03% and 10% down or $38,500. With taxes, insurance, and HOA, your monthly payment is around $2,518, much less than renting. Your principal and interest payment will not fluctuate like rent and the taxes, insurance, and HOA, which has to add up to $434 per month, won't go up by 30% yearly like rent just did. It will be a very small uptick yearly. You park it there for two to three years while inflation stabilizes and mortgage interest rates settle. You'll have a fixed payment in an asset that usually keeps pace with inflation. After that, you can then reassess if you want to hang on to this asset and convert it to a rental or sell it and get that house you wanted in the first place using the equity you've built up and most likely there will be lower interest rates. But Dean, aren't housing prices going to plummet? Right now, the signs don't point to that. We're looking to hit a normal balanced market where prices continue to appreciate three to 6% year over year. Then there's the added bonus of you own it. You don't answer to a landlord and you don't have to worry about your rent getting hiked or your landlord selling it out from under you. That's it for this week's market update. If you are seeing this on social media and you have a question about the Phoenix real estate market, please drop those in the comments. Please be sure to like and follow us, especially on TikTok at Arizona Home Talk. In the meantime, if you know anyone that's looking to buy or sell real estate in the Phoenix metro area, we are never too busy for your referrals.